By now, you've gotten comfortable using evaluation blocks to represent numbers and functions that work on those numbers. But our programming language can do so much more. Take a look at this evaluation block. What is the name of this function? What inputs does it take? The first input is clearly a number, but what about the other two? The values solid and red are a new type of data called string. No, not like yarn. It's called a string because it is any number of characters, letters, numbers, even punctuation, strung together and surrounded by quotation marks. We usually use strings to represent words. A type is a category of values. 1, 2, negative 10, and 100.6 are all examples of numbers. And solid, red, or hello, my name is Nancy, are all examples of strings. Anything in quotation marks is a string, even numbers. When we evaluate this program, we'll get a picture of a solid red star. That isn't a number, and it isn't a string. Instead, it's a third type of data called an image. Values are specific, like 15 or hello, but types are general. You probably noticed that this code is a lot more colorful than what you wrote in the last stage. Evaluation blocks are color-coded to tell you what type of data they will return. And the slots are color-coded by the type of data they need. Just as you can't put a round peg in a square hole, you can't put a purple block in a blue slot. Numbers are blue, strings are teal, and images are purple. In this next stage, you'll start by using these new data types in your program to create shapes and images.